morning, doing poached eggs this morning, so I thought I'd do a video. So you can see, got a pan of boiling water on the stove, just turning that down to a, um, a simmer now. So I want to be simmering rather than boiling. Now, usually I'd use white wine vinegar, but because we're at home, I don't have any white wine vinegar, so I've just got some normal brown sarsen's vinegar that you put on your chips, but as I say, it would normally be white wine vinegar. And of course, good old uh, pinch of salt. I make sure that the water is still swimming. So you can see I've already cracked uh, an egg opener and I've put it into a small dish with my um, simmering water. I've got a fork and I'm just swirling the water around. Kind of make a little whirlpool effect. And then pop the egg into the center. And what will happen, hopefully you can see, is that as the water is going round, the white is wrapping itself around the yolk. Now obviously with the eggs you use, make sure the eggs are freshest. These eggs were bought yesterday afternoon, so the fresher the egg, the better the poached egg will be. After the egg has been simmering for about a minute, it's not quite cooked, as you can see. I'm gonna give that a few more seconds, or probably about a minute and a half. Here, I've got a bowl of ice water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the egg into the ice water in a minute to stop it cooking. Like so. so I've got some kippers here, it's pin boned kippers, a double fillet. I got these from Hells and Moor, which are the fishmongers that we use in Medway. Um, doing home deliveries at the moment um, any order about 15 quid and they're delivered to your house for free so got some kippers yesterday going to pop these in the um, the oven and obviously these are going to go with my poached egg so with my poached egg as you remember I put it into some cold water gave it a few minutes I've now taken it out of the cold water it's nice and cold and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to trim off what they call the skirt just make the egg a little bit more presentable You could use a, um, a ring cutter if you want. I've retained the, um, the water, and what I do is I'll put that back in the water. And work when I'm ready so to I'm popping back my um, set poached egg back into the water, this time for about another 30 seconds. While the egg is on the stove, I've just toasted some tiger bread, and I got my kippers that are out of the oven. So, poached egg on toasted tiger bread with a grilled kipper. Bon appetit. And just to show that the uh, yolk is still running. I'm also going to dr drizzle some of the butter that was cooked in the kipper. Breakfast is ready.